Hi, and welcome to the latest in my series of introductions to InfoPath 2007. In this demo, I'm going to talk about views. The idea of views is quite simple. Different people need to see something slightly different when they open up a form. Back when everything was done by paper forms, it was common practice to have a section of the form labelled internal use only, or with an instruction to the initial user not to fill out those fields. The idea was that one person would fill out most of the form, and then the person whose job it was to process the information would need to fill out the rest. The same idea can be used in InfoPath, but now the person filling out the form only needs to see the fields that are relevant to them, reducing potential confusion. Here I have a demo customer order form that I've created. This is the default view which would be seen by a customer. They would enter information about a product, or it might be pulled in from a product database as shown in previous examples. And then the customer would enter their details. It's simple, and they see the information and the fields that are relevant to them. Now if I go to the view menu, I can switch over to the staff view. Suddenly the appearance has changed and there are more fields available. But the information entered in the previous view is still available. Now, a staff member can enter information regarding the processing of the order. The views associated with the form can be wildly different or very similar. It could be as simple a matter as changing the colour scheme between views, or you might want to allow access to new fields. In this view, the fields for customer name and address are read-only. In this way, you can ensure that people do not overwrite data entered by other people at different stages. When I switched between views, I did so by going to the View menu in InfoPath. When creating views, you can choose not to include them in this menu. If you create a form with, for example, three views, but choose not to include any of them in the menu, the users will not be able to switch between views and will only see the one they are offered initially. Which leads to the next question. How do you ensure that people see the right view? This is done by user roles. When you design a form, you can set the user roles associated with it. These roles are defined by you. For example, staff and customers, or sales personnel and technical. In this case, I'll add a role for staff. Now I need to decide who to add to this role. I can manually enter users, or I can search through Active Directory to find them. So I've added myself to the staff list. I can assign multiple people or groups that have been defined in Active Directory. Now I need to associate user roles with views. I can create rules for what happens when the form opens. In this case, I want to create a rule that when the form opens, everyone who is listed as staff goes straight to the staff view. Checking the user's role is one of the built-in options in InfoPath. Now I need to assign an action to associate with this rule. Again. Switching views is the default option. So, as simply as that, I've created a rule that means when someone listed as staff opens the form, they will be shown the staff view. Anyone else will see the default view. It's possible to create a vast number of views for a single form. Common uses of this feature are to provide views specifically for printing forms or for opening forms in a mobile phone browser. Also, if forms are using workflows, it may be that at different stages, multiple different people will need to access the forms, and each of them will have their own requirements for which field should be visible to them. This is all very simple to arrange in InfoPath. Thank you.